Good evening, everybody. It is late. Yeah. We're gonna go. Six forty-five. We're gonna. Oh my God! It is. Oh. We're gonna go check out Caribbean Beach and see because we haven't been there since we moved here. I know. We want to show you when it's daytime because it's like a really bright and colorful and fun place to walk around. But we want to see the construction. Want to show you? I think we can show the inside because the the food and beverage area is really cool. Yeah. So we'll show you that. But we're gonna eat dinner. I had to say work. I just stay at late work. I don't know if I've mentioned it, but I have a bunch of uh, bigger projects that have to get done before Chicago. So it's kind of like deadline, deadline, deadline. And I stayed a little late to make sure things were done for one of my meetings tomorrow. But I want to show you this, this this good and healthy dinner that Sarah made for us. Don't mind our paper plates. <laughs> our lettuce, our salad, and chicken and chicken with balsamic. And I'm gonna have some of these mixed nuts here in our little spoon dish because we're fancy. Ooh hoo hoo! We're in the fancy Caribbean beach lobby, which is like got a, its own distinct smell, but it's also got its own distinct front desk with those little like bank windows almost. Yeah, like you're going through customs or the port or whatever. You have, and I'm having flashbacks right now because this is where your family stayed. Yeah, my family came for the college program for Thanksgiving. We stayed here, and then we stayed here a summer vacation too. I forget when. One near like Riverside. But I was not with you. No, I was like 12. But look at this cool tree. I'm excited to go see. Like this is like the remote lobby. Then there's like a different building. Let's go find that. Check this out. Here's a, the renderings of all of the renovations they're doing. This is gonna be called Shutters. Shutters and Banana okay. Cabana Lounge. Shutters interior. That's gonna be good. Banana cool. Cabana Pool Bar. Look at the courtyard. We gotta find that. See, that's what I'm thinking of as the courtyard because it's still there right now. Yeah. Or the lobby check-in. Look at that. We got scared there for a second. We thought this was gonna be a complete bust. Because we forgot that that front room is the front building is called customs check-in. That's where you check in. It's like a, that's all you do there. You can't really walk in. Let's so you have to take an internal bus. Um, and then we're like, oh, with all the construction, like, is there nothing going on here? We're like, no, there has to be something to eat and food and everything just to go see and look at decorations. And we found this beautiful lake. And now I think my memory is serving me right that I think I remember like there being a long path over there, but there's this cool, weird yeah, there's this center area with store over here. And I think like there's a bar over here because this used to be one of the big areas. Let's just go it's venture. Nice to come back during the day. Yeah. Because it's so pretty and vibrant and all of that. But I'm excited, we haven't been here in five years. <laughs> okay, this is the first. Look at, this is a like portable gift shop. This is like what you find at like football games. <gasps> Look at here, the, the coconuts. You can get these. You can also get these coconuts in Adventureland. Yeah. You actually write your message in the address, and then they like wrap it in Saran wrap, and they'll send it to you. And it's already priority mail paid. Yeah. So it's part of the cost. It's a part of the, yeah. But look what we found. We found a beach and some bean bags or cornhole, depending on what part of the country you live in or where in the world, and this pop-up bar. So the bar over there is like a pop-up bar. Yeah, this is super weird. Okay, sorry, I got the thing to go away from my phone. Oh, there's a cocoa advertisement. This is strange. Like, here's their Caribbean Beach merchandise. And the side of this car. This is a car. Super cool and clever. The plot thickens. Look at this, like, this tent over here. It's actually a dinner buffet. And it's 20 bucks a person. Wow, I think it's because like there's a Christmas tree in there. They won't let us in there because we didn't pay. But that's like where you can have dinner because I think the main building with like the food court, the food court or food halls is closed for construction. This is super strange, but super cool at the same time. How about that? Okay, I have to go in and see the Christmas tree. Wow, so here's the Christmas tree. Sarah, Sarah mustered up the little shy courage that she has to ask the customers if they let us in to see it. They are cool. It's very, it's really like, it's like the one in the front with the fish yeah, but it's and the flowers. I wonder how long it's going to be like this. So it says like summer 2018. You're coming here. Yeah, it says yeah. late summer 2018. Yeah. But it is. But it's like a semi-permanent structured tent 
with all kinds of decorations and all kinds of delicious food. It smells very fishy. The mac and cheese looks delicious. Okay, cast member just gave us the rundown. They really wanted to really throw the throw a bone to the guests. If you're staying here, or even if you're not, if you're on the dining plane, you can do the all-you-can-eat buffet. Instead of spending $20, you can use a quick service credit. It's the only buffet that Disney's done as a quick service meal. That's a, that's big. It's huge. We're coming here next time. Let's let's get a DVC, get a one night of dining plan. Do this for one one quick service credit, then use our table service credit at the uh, at Ohana. We're walking through the pool and check this out. This is this is the old Calypso Trading Post. This was literally like their gift shop. Yeah. All that truck that we saw used to be in here, but it's literally just torn up. And it's funny. The cast member said like basically all they have left to offer is the rooms. Like yeah. That's Everything they said me. that's why they're doing the, the buffet for quick service because they have just the rooms. They don't have a table service or anything. But look at this is new construction over here, and then obviously they've got the pool, which yeah, is what we're walking around. This is super cute. So here's one of the entrances to the pool. Really good sized pool, but it's really busy. I can tell like that we were we were just talking about how like outside of the All Stars and Pop Century, this is the next resort to be filled by conventions and I think there was close to the ESPN. I think there was like a gymnastics team or cheerleading team checking in when we first got here but since there's not much left here uh, I think we're gonna go try to try to go to Animal Kingdom Lodge yeah. see their Christmas stuff not too far. no but also, I think we want to um, we want to come back on a weekend where we can like, actually enjoy everything and like maybe even try the buffet. yeah have a have a good have a have a cheat day. Fish is Fish healthy. Fish is healthy. Is healthy. Diet. But I saw tater tots and mac and cheese and chicken nuggets. Well, we'll have Pocket to show nugs. Have to show some restraint. But also, I mean, it's, it's so pretty here. It really this is. This is great. Like I'm happy. Like this, like makes me want to really come. Back. There is another pool. I don't think we're gonna walk over there because it's literally on the other side of the resort property. So you see, like, so you remember there being like hammocks and a volleyball court and all that. Let's go. They're convinced me to not give up. <laughs> so we're walking across the island, which is actually, look at they're playing the movie over here. Oh. So this is Caribbean Key. Caribbean Key? Yeah, like Castaway Key. Yes, Caribbean Key. This is the little island that I think connects to the other side of where another pool is. Yeah. But there's a play area over here that's closed because it's dark. And there's a fire pit where they do s'mores and such. But over here is the movie. I wonder what movie it is. Oh, Beauty and the Beast. But well, we're gonna keep going over here. They have like volleyball courts and hammocks to relax. You know, I think they might be next to us right now. I think it's just too dark. We'll see. The mystery is solved. When our friends Ellen and Lauren were here, and Lauren, you've seen in our other videos, you'll see again eventually. We're swimming in there, and Sarah was talking to them, and I ran over here and like hung out by this little, I walked like, I remember I walked down this right here being like 19 year old me and talked to Sarah's older sister Jenna because they were literally getting off the airplane to come down to visit, to visit and vacation yeah. but here's the hammock well there's no this isn't where I'm thinking of that oh. is over there this is just another beach I'll actually put in a photo right here from 2011 of us on me and my sisters on that the hammock area that I'm talking about alrighty so we relocated to Animal Kingdom Lodge I wanted to show you how even the out, outside has those little candy canes. Peter's on the phone with Dom. trees over here and all up there they have the lit up swags I don't think we've ever been here at Christmas oh my god 
gosh. Do you see him? Do you see him? Nice fire. So cozy. It's right off the lobby. There's plenty of chairs. You could have a whole party here. You should have your birthday party here. We should. I wish I had like a vacation drink with my hand right now. Yeah. Or a big cup of water. Or a gingerbread man. Or a hot chocolate or a coffee. Or a corn dog. Or a corn dog. I've been drawing for a corn dog. It says how the eating's done. You need a cucumber. You need a cucumber stab. Look at this tree. And look at this lobby right here. Just take a moment and just soak that in. Look at that. Oh, I'm gonna go take a picture of the Look at that. I've been jonesing for a little bit of a splurge of a weekend. And this is what I want to do. I don't think it's going to happen until closer to the spring maybe. But I want to do, I want to just get one night at one of these resorts, whether it's a DVC or not, and get club lounge and spend just all day. At I'm planning for August of 2018. <laughs> I said maybe spring. Maybe. But spend like the day we check in, like check in early like noon. Have, have Eve get set up at Best Friends for the night. And that's just kind of hang, lay low, hang out at the, at the resort, get club lounge access, get a dining planned at that resort, have dinner that night there, um, or the lounge, do the quick service and then do the lounge there, and then in the morning, go yeah. either to like a nice big breakfast on, tape, on the table service or something. We'll even have this little tree over here. Remember it wasn't even Halloween time when we were just right over there playing Checkers. Tic tac checkers. Oh, no, Tic-tac-toe. And now it's almost the new year. Time is flying. Alright, we are home. And if you are still with us, thank you. I appreciate that. I know today wasn't the most exciting video, but we just kind of had a relaxing evening with uh, the busy schedule we've been having and with my work schedule being a little bit more intense. We needed just a night to relax at the resort, so... Um, with me getting out work late and that being the plan it kind of worked out but I wanted to show you to go along with the whole eating health here we're actually gonna we're starting our working out in the morning tomorrow morning so wish us luck trying to get up we got it which means we have to get up at like 5 or 5 30 to do a little workout before our day starts but to do that we're gonna try to start eating breakfast and eating a healthy breakfast so we're gonna try something Sarah's cousin does and it's overnight oats and that we're doing this without yogurt because I know a lot of them do it with yogurt but <clears throat> for like the the habits we're trying to build we're trying to not have a lot of the yogurt so we're doing it with milk or skim milk and water but we're gonna throw some of the oats in a cup and it's gonna uh, be with apple slices in there and it's gonna sit overnight in the fridge so it gets all firm and and delicious and hopefully that's good I think I'm gonna throw uh, Sarah wanted some, a little dash of peanut butter or vanilla extract in hers. We got ourselves some good old-fashioned Quaker oats. We got our skim milk in our cups, and I chopped up some apples here. So I'm going to dish it all up. So I made them all up. I had to switch to two different mugs because there was, with the apples in there and all the juices, there was a lot, a lot going on. <laughs> so I had to switch them to bigger mugs. And this is actually right here. This saved the planet with the... This is an Earth Day mug from the Disney store, like circa 2000, what? 13? Less than that, probably 2010. It was before high school ended. Oh, really? It wasn't when you had worked there? No, oh, it was, we got this downtown. Oh. That was like my go-to mug, and we got like back in 2010, so a little piece of Peter history right there. But with that, we uh, got to do a couple more things and go to bed, because we got to get up early and work out. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you for following along our nice, relaxing night. Good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.